Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. We have a big breaking news now coming in. This is with regards to all of those hoax bomb threats given to the airlines. In fact, this is a word that we are exclusively picking up from the top cyber security sources that have told CNN News 18 that a group of tech experts is suspected of targeting Indian airlines with bomb hoax messages. Now, the senders are believed to be knowledgeable about technical tracing and tracking of online identities as well used methods to hide their own uh, true locations. In fact, initial analysis by central cyber agencies have revealed that no activity has been detected from the IP addresses associated with the bomb hoax threats which were given to the airlines in the past couple of weeks. In fact, the exit nodes of these IP addresses are all VPNs related. In fact, the email IDs which were used to create accounts on platform X, formerly known as Twitter, are now suspected to have been generated through VPN services as well, which of course plays a crucial role in masking the sender's identity. Going to be a big challenge for the cyber security team to trace all of these, uh, the epicenter of all of these hoax bomb threats given to the airlines and of course causing a big concern for the passengers traveling through those concerned airlines. We have CNN News 18's Ankur Sharma joining us on the broadcast. Ankur, a very good morning to you. Like we said, it's going to be a big challenge for the cyber security team to trace all of these people who are actually sending out these messages, emails, as well as making some social media posts. Yes, yeah, certainly. So uh, this uh, hoax bomb threats, uh, it, it, it is a challenge now for the cyber security agencies as well as the Delhi police because it is suspected according to uh, senior official, uh, a recent initial analysis has been done and according to the analysis, a group of tech experts is suspected of targeting these airlines with uh, hoax bomb threats. And uh, so far, no activity has been uh, detected from these uh, IP address addresses which were used to send threats uh, through social media handles as well as the emails. The exit node of these addresses is RPN, which means that the IP addresses were generated through virtual uh, personal networks. And according to the senior official, despite the evidences that has been uh, gathered by the central agencies, uh, very limited support has been received from the uh, private companies like Meta and X, and the relevant companies have been asked to provide the details to tr trace the actual IP addresses. Now, this it's a, it's a very complex uh, system. Uh, if the VPN is being used, uh, first the agency has to uh, trace the IP address of the VPN and the VPN company uh, if they are willingly to provide the address of the IP address and the router only then the central in, uh, cyber agency can trace the actual IP address and also according to the official uh, while there is no activity on these IP addresses the initial analysis indicates that uh, this has been carried out by a group of multiple tech experts. It is not, uh, it is based on the language, uh, on the pattern of mail and the messages sent uh, uh, to the various elements through uh, social media, which is X, and uh, through emails. And the email played a very crucial load, uh, role in the, this uh, particular uh, uh, case. Why? Because even if uh, someone wants to uh, open an account on X, mm. uh, uh, you require... Uh, either phone number or email id so in this case uh, agencies are suspecting that email ids were used and those email ids were generated through vpn only so it is it is very complex very tough for uh, central cyber agencies be it uh, i4c or right. maybe to trace these uh, ip addresses Right. And of course, uh, that's the need of the R as well, Ankur. It will be interesting to see how exactly the authorities combat this particular situation that we are currently looking at. Thank you so much for all of those information. Shifting focus to the